have like a very small kitchen as you have seen in my previous videos if you haven't seen them i would appreciate if you go take a look i'm wearing this beautiful robe from modernisa the hijab is from bella i borrowed it from my sister for naga and momo we give them not in the food department for the cats it's a deep completely i just give the food he knows which one is good for them but we use we use the nine lives one we bought a small little blender for their food because naga if you didn't see or if you don't know she actually has she has lost all her teeth Except for the tiny ones, all her canine teeth are gone, except for two, but they will fall out. One of her teeth actually fell on my hand, and I was like, oh my god, oh my god, what's happening? But the doctor actually told us, like, she's gonna lose her teeth. Put a little bit of water, like, emulsify it so that she can chew. And Momo actually doesn't have any problem with this consistency, he just chugs everything. And... Today, oh, the reason I actually turned on the camera and it fell is I actually got my desk back. When Adib usually works from home, he takes the desk because his laptop is set up with the monitor. I use a Mac from work and the best part is that, you know, you can swap between the tabs and stuff, which I use kind of like a second screen. Not as like a physical second screen but i can like you know move around where i think windows you can do that i haven't touched a windows computer for over 10 years yeah i have forgotten everything about windows since i like you know i have been a mac user since i came to the us now i'll be just like sitting here for like let's say now it's 10 o'clock for, a, for like two hours i will be sitting here and finishing some tasks and I'll turn on the camera when I actually do my manual, you know, laundry, how I like set it up in the bathroom and my bathroom is really small where once you put that machine in, that's it, you can't even walk into the bathroom, that's how small it is. But I really like it. I will just sit down and work. If you see this red bag, this is like a gift from my parents to my in-laws. It's just sitting here because we haven't gone there yet. And they brought this from Saudi because they just came from Umrah. And uh, I am just gonna like give it to them or Adibi is gonna give it to them the next time we see them. So remember in my Ramadan prep video, I was talking about putting reminders in your calendar, in your Google calendar to for prayers or any kind of Islamic remembers besides your daily tasks and stuff. I'm not sure if I spoke about this, but I do have another additional reminder that I added manually because I'm not sure how to like actually work around it, but I do have a calendar for this like separated and I can share the link in the description. And that reminder is Allah's 99 names. Every day there will be a reminder for me of a new name. So I will read that, the meaning of it and the like more description about that name. So for example, for today, I'm just going to read what I have in my calendar. Today's name is An-Nur, meaning the light, the illuminator. O oh Allah, An-Nur, we know that you are light and all kinds of light come from you. Guide us in following your revelation so it can be a source of light for us in this life and the next. Amen. Aid us in doing many good deeds so our faces will be, will be shining with light in the hereafter. Light will emerge for us on the Sirat so we can witness your light in paradise. Amen. So my camera is finally charged and you are with me in the restroom right now. I'm just gonna put you on top. You know I look really short. Hopefully you will be able to see my process of washing my clothes my detergent and my balti the detergent that i use is melly's laundry soda 
Excuse me. No cats allowed in the bathroom. You know that. So the wire goes, you know where the wire goes. The draining pipe in the toilet. This is the washer and this is the spinner. So I will just, what is it? I'll just put the water in here. But before that, I'll put the clothes in here because I prefer to put the clothes to understand like how many clothes I can put in here and then, you know, put the water in there. Two scoops of the soap. Okay. Okay, I need to get back to work. I put the water in and I am just gonna turn it on. It's gonna like make those clicky noises that a timer does. And you can hear the machine running. So it's gonna run for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, I'm just gonna drain the water and then put it in the spinner, put it in the dryer. Simple laundry things. One hour later. Clothes have been washed right now, so I'm just gonna put this thing and then it's just gonna drain all the water. Forgot to tell you how the day is today, like the temperature. It is completely sunny and it's at 68 degrees when I checked in the morning. It looks really beautiful, so I might go outside for some small groceries for iftar today. It looks really beautiful, so I'm definitely gonna take a walk and like a walk to the grocery store and, you know, take my time to get those groceries. Also, if you are watching this video and someone who actually is trying to lose weight during this Ramadan, please do leave your tips and tricks in the comments below because I am also I started doing this exercise which has helped me a lot before Ramadan though but once Ramadan started it's not because I was lazy it's just that I didn't have enough time to carve out that 15 minutes to 30 minutes to my exercise because of like how work has gotten busy this week and then I after, right after iftar we have barely any time to finish our cha after that like we are done with our child we like run to the masjid because uh you know the tarawi over there starts a little bit early you can hear the water still like the leftover water just dripping what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna transfer the washed clothes into the spinner and then i'll turn on the spinner but it is really loud and you won't be able to hear me and i'm just gonna turn it on and it shakes a lot Okay, so this is like after a while I have vacuumed the house, fixed uh, the Roomba. We actually call her Bua. <laughs> so I fixed Bua and then I put the clothes in the dryer waiting for them to dry. Uh, finished some work and now I am going grocery shopping because I think, not I think, because I have to put the soup on the stove in the lowest heat like as soon as possible so that you know it cooks slowly over time then me trying to cook everything out at once and then it doesn't cook i do have some meetings around mid to late afternoon so i want to finish uh, the cooking parts and i can focus on the meetings and when adib comes we can just you know pray relax and whatnot It is so beautiful outside. I don't even need my sweater. I do need my shade though because my eyes are really sensitive to the harsh sun. And there's people coming and I'm not comfortable vlogging like that. So I'm just gonna move the camera. I take this. It didn't go as planned. My grocery store trip because everything was so heavy with my injured shoulder. I can't really do as much as I used to be able to so I actually got all the groceries so I got some salaries and this was for some reason they didn't have like good salaries a lot of them were bruised and I had to like go in and literally go one by one, one by one packet to find a good salary I also got some veggie broth. I usually don't use broth because I use hot water and stuff and sometimes I use milk or creamer and whatnot. But I thought why not let's use some veggie broth. I got zucchini, carrots, ginger, 
the squash, right? Uh, this one is not for today's soup. Adib likes this other soup that is a squash zucchini soup and it's not like the minestrone soup because the minestrone soup is not blended this one is so and this one is also baked so i'm gonna make it like maybe like another day for uh iftar i also got a pineapple for adib because he was craving it from candies um, sesame sesame seeds candies but i used to eat them Adib used to eat them when we were little it's like a bengali thing so I just got them and then lastly the parmesan cheese shredded they had the the block of cheese I just didn't get it because I'm too lazy I'm just gonna put this into it because it's easier what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep everything here for now because I'm gonna end up using all of these and I'm gonna finish some tasks because my work it, it's like getting busy right now so I'm just gonna finish that and then maybe take the meetings while I cut the veggies and stuff. My current situation. Back. No, we're not back. I'll be right back responding to this slide. So we're back and it's like four o'clock and right now I do have to make the soup or else I won't be able to make it on time. Or cook it properly so I have all the items in front of me some cut onions already I have the red ones but it's good to use the white one or the yellow ones but I only have the red ones that's why I'm using that I'm gonna cut the carrot so now I'm gonna cut the zucchini this quickly Okay, I have been struggling to find a space so that I can actually not move the camera as much and then still get work done. This seems like the only way I can show what I'm doing. And yeah, I'm gonna drop things. Quickest way for me to do is cooking as I go, like frying as I go. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the oil and the onions in there so that it starts sauteing while I cut uh, the carrots and the zucchini and then the celery. garlic some green chilies that i made at home i just like blended all the green chilies and put it in a ziploc the extra one in the freezer and then this jar stays basically down you know uh, in the refrigerator <laughs> So what I have done here is I chopped all my veggies including tomatoes and I just added it, sauteed it. Now you can see that they're becoming a little bit mush. I am going to add my veggie stock, proteins and the beans into it. I added all the ingredients and it seems like I need to add more water into it. my seasonings let's cut this baby <laughs> so while Adib is cutting <laughs> I'm trying to see myself Adib is cutting the pineapple for me I'm just gonna add my pasta which I forgot to add the eggs here and then this is how the soup is looking like where there is no soup left so i have to put some more water uh it looks really good and then the pineapple in over there okay so this is the end of the vlog for today and we just came from tarawi i thought we were late but then once we went there it was on time and i couldn't do a video beforehand to get ready but i just wanted to show our outfit i'm wearing an abaya from urban modesty and the scarf is from Bella and his outfit, I'm not sure where it's from, but uh, this is how we're looking. If you are liking this vlog, don't forget to like and press the subscribe button. 
help my channel out a little and I will see you in the next vlog.